Lucas Media got some news coming out of the boxing world. Jaleel Hackett, rising prospect, is no longer signed to Mayweather Promotions. I repeat, he is no longer signed to Mayweather Promotions. Seen an interview what he did yesterday, and he's talking a little bit about it. Um, one of the bigger things that he said, because he's now signed with Eddie Hearn, but one of the bigger things that he's been saying is there is no there's no fights. He talked about how they promised him dates. The dates wasn't happening. Thankfully, uh, Tank Davidson was able to squeeze him in one of uh, his undercards, his team. But overall, you know, they give Jalil a date. And then they end up telling him no. Now, there could be a lot of things. The money is rumors again. The money funny over there. You never really see him promoting fighters like that. And it's, it's just a lot. With him, Leonard Ellaby, that whole thing is a... Look like a sinking ship. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. I feel like Floyd is. And we know Floyd's not a street guy. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You know, I didn't come from the streets. My father worked at Jenna Motors. It is what it is. However, Floyd is like that old head on the block that don't want to give it up. And instead of him running the operation from behind the scenes and letting the young boys get their money he too busy still trying to be up there with the fighters floyd has literally hated on his own fighters i've, I've came out man i've made several videos about that he hates on all the younger fighters he may make it seem like he's helping him but it's like a double-edged sword he's helping him at the same time he's hating on them and it's been so many different fighters coming out for the past several years talking about how floyd is floyd is floyd is very jealous He's very insecure. And all you got to do, this ain't even me saying it. This go back and watch some of his older interviews. Go back and watch when they bring up other fighters, how he always had to talk about himself. You could be like, Floyd, what you think about uh, Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson fighting? Well, you know, uh, uh, you know, they're good. I, I hope, you know, they're, they're great fighters, but you know, maybe, maybe one day somebody will be able to make my pay per view. You know, I sold, I did the highest gate, you know, me and Canelo and me and Manny Pacquiao and me and Cutter McGregor. And he just goes on and on and on about himself. That's a, a true narcissist. And you could be like, well, Floyd, okay, well, 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 what you think about the the Mavericks and the Boston Celtics playing in the NBA Finals? Well, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I can't, I can't go over to say who's going to win, who's going to lose. But what I will tell you is, you know. Uh, it's not so many people that came out and made the kind of money that I've made. You know, I'm out here. I got three private jets. I got five mansions. You know, I got a billion dollar stock portfolio. So people are starting to get turned off by that. A lot of people were signed. And even I would have signed to Floyd, honestly, at the time. Because he's one of the greatest fighters to put on a pair of gloves. You see him make all this money. But the man is so insecure. I remember a time... Floyd got mad because somebody didn't know who he was. She was like, oh, I know who Mike Tyson is. He's like, you don't know. People are like, oh, you don't know who Floyd is? Floyd loves the attention. And this is why he is unable to promote his fighters because he has to talk about himself. People are waking up to it and everybody's jumping off the, the, the train. Even a whole, you hear him rumblings about him and Leonard Ellaby. And it, it's just a bunch of different things. But shout out to Jaleel Hackett. I'm a big, I don't care who these fighters fight with. I want to see them stay active. I'm not loyal to none of these promoters, none of these networks, because at the end of the day, they just want to spend my money. You know, with boxing being 90% drama or, or business, 10% of the actual fight, I don't really care. It, it it makes me no difference, but I want to see a Jalil Hackett fight. He, the, the young man is what, 20 years old, something like that? He needs to be fighting constantly. Carmel Moulton, he should be promoted. Everybody keeps saying he's up next. Floyd should be doing constant, constant videos promoting this guy. Almost like an all-access with him. You know, with, with, with Floyd in the background to help say, hey, he up next. But that's just not Floyd's style. And you start to see it. And, you know, again, Tank announces the fight. What does Floyd do? He come out the same time. Oh, I'm doing an exhibition. Well, against Logan Paul, and I remember people was defending him then. Oh man, me and Little make thirty million. He's doing it on the same time his fighters coming out. Pure hating. So I don't blame people for leaving from over there. And you know it was hot at one moment, but now it's not. And 
to the haters, 51 people, 10, what, uh, 12 years ago about what was going on. And he even said, at the time, my brother didn't have LLC. They had nothing. Everything was being ran through Al Heyman. And that wouldn't surprise me, honestly, because that's what these fighters do. They just, you're going to give a man $400 million. Listen, I don't care who, I don't care who it is. I want to have an accountant, a backup accountant, four or five attorneys. And at least once a week, we're going to sit down and figure out where all these finances came from. You know, ain't nobody sitting down with Floyd and saying, look, man, you got two private jets. Do you need a third one? Do you need an $18 million watch? Do you need a $30 million? He's a $30 million mansion. Floyd is living harder than these billionaires. You don't see Mark Cuban living like that. You don't see Mark Zuckerberg living like that. You don't see Elon Musk living like that. But Floyd has all of this. So, I don't know. Something ain't adding up. But I don't blame them, these fighters for, for leaving. Go get your money. And, you know, uh, I'm sure Jaleel Hackett will be a world champion one day. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.